Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, here's the decisive moment. Which, I mean, once I hit sudden death, technically every moment is a decisive moment. And honestly, the matches before that kind of matter too. But anyway, the decisive moment. Let's see if I can actually come out ahead in this run. Let's see. Breaking even again. I have all the killing cards. Damn. So many killing Earth. cards. Undo it. I have fireball. I have bad Life fireball. Fireballs. Flame strikes. Pointy sticks. Wow. Go away. Give me minions. I said minions. Plural. This looks like a combo, but it's actually a combo for fail, because it is way too slow at start. This guy is not big enough to coin out second turn and have him be any good. I need something with at least four hit points to not suck. So I think I'm just going to be, he plays something, I blow it up. He plays something, I blow it up. Hopefully eventually I get something out. He's not even going to play anything. Oh, it's a guy. Go. Guys, okay. Thought seal. It's from my deck. That is still miserable. For my hand move, might have almost been worse, assuming he has a bunch of minions in his hand. Um, he didn't kill this right away, so let's play the raging war again and see if we can get away with it. Because he's got to kill this fast, or else I can shoot him and go super saiyan worgen. Super Worgen Jin. You have to kill this, or you will be at a severe hit point deficit. I guess playing a big taunt might do it, but if he plays a big taunt, I can probably blow the shit out of it. Let us see if this um, that's not gonna cut it, because that's only till end of turn. Yes. Wow, I could almost play him with the coin, but I won't. Actually, the coin would not make him any cheaper, so I can't even do that. But no, we're just going to blow this guy up and shoot him and do a horrendous amount of damage. My boy, is that a horribly slow start? We're going to take advantage. It'd be funny if we got in a fight where he keeps like healing my guy and I keep having to shoot him. But no, he needs to kill my guy or do something serious right now. Holy Nova will be effective. Oh, uh, that's pretty effective. I don't have any way to make my guys come out of that alive. Even if I blow them up ex with external sources of damage, still not going to work. So, yeah. Fair enough. What to do? What so, to do? Yeah, I'm just going to have to kill him and play normal. Boo. Get Dragon's Breath really cheap, but no. Yeah, I think I'm going to save this. Next turn I should be able to play the Mountain Giant. I mean, he may have a Shadow Word Death that he's been saving, since I haven't had anything big enough to warrant it. Augur is pretty annoying. I may want to blow that up instead of whatever. So gianting. Oh yeah, especially if I can volcanic break. I've got the flame cannon just for Hogger. Serious delay on attacking here. This, this is fine, Jerry. We'll take that. And that might draw out the Shadow Word Death, so that I will be able to mountain giant. I'm going to have my coin so long it will no longer be useful. God damn it, I knew that Thought Steel was going to be problems, bastard. No Shadow Word Death, no Shadow Word Death. No Shadow Word Death. Shadow Word Death. No! Shadow Word Death. Off camera thumbs up! So... Do I just win? Uh, I believe I win. 14, 6, 2, dead. Yep. Ah! All 
great. He did basically nothing all game. He had like an incredibly slow deck and or draw. Which I'm okay with, because I need the help to make up for that stupid shaman game that I should have won. Just needed one flame strike. Had a six card window within which to draw it. But no. <sighs> but anyway, I'm in the positive column now. Jane versus Uther. Paladin is also kind of scary. Spring hand, very slow. This is going to be the game when I just like get no minions that are castable in a reasonable time frame. No, I got that knife juggler like out of seven, out of eight games now. I've drawn him almost every time early in the game, like more, like half the time, which is a lot for a card you only have one of. Because it's not almost every time, but it is unlikely frequency which with, with which he has shown up. He has also yet to just like get insta gift. Like normally I put him out, coin him out first turn, Black or play him second turn, and he's usually just not been instantly blown up. Which is so weird. In construction in constructive Wow. Every word without except the right suffix. In constructed you, you play him first or second turn, then he gets blown up. And then you go on with your life. Let me think. That is standard practice. His survival is less than optional. It's usually not an option. This guy is thinking a lot about what to coin out. Probably means he has variety, or maybe he just doesn't like it. He is worried about me killing his micro machine. I am gonna kill his micro machine. That's that. Get bigger and bigger pain in my ass. So, use the micro machine to decoy away my minion killing spells in order to play. I wonder. I don't know. I just assumed he was going to do something ever. He's a thinking it. He's as bad as me. Not on my way. Wow, he played him without a guy to, without a friend. That's awesome. Although he can still kill this. That's not as awesome. No, I'm I'm just gonna shoot. I'm gonna save my cards. I can't do anything good off it. If I play him, it just gets killed by this, which is sad, because this is a worthless otherwise. I'm not in a good position to get anything moving. All I'm doing is just being like a blue player in Magic the Gathering. It's just like, counter what my opponent does. So I'm going to spend the Blessing of Wisdom to draw a single card. He knows it's a single card. Chances of me not shooting him, and verging on zero. But he obviously needs the curves. He did not have the starting stuff he wanted. And but I can kill him, and I can now play him because the, the guy out there can't kill him without assistance. Maybe we do cult leader tricks or something, but probably not. I can fireball that guy and then not do anything else with my turn, which is unfortunate. I could frostbolt him, which would leave him alive, and also be unfortunate, and also not do anything else with my turn. My hand kind of blows. So we're going to fireball him. Hey, catch! You know, leaving a guy alive for a paladin is a really bad idea, even, even though in the damage race, obviously, my guy wins out, but no, I really should have just killed him. But I'm just like, having my head, oh, I'll play a guy, and then his knife might kill it, who knows. And there's a guy he can't buff, which is interesting. I could copy it, which would be good. <sighs> I think this guy's gonna get a good play eventually, I'm hoping, but for now... 
play the warlord, he will just come out as 5-5, five, five, which survives... The, uh, I think I should just copy that guy, actually. I think that's probably my best play for now. Interesting. doesn't actually help me that much because even if I even if they collide I can't finish him off with this because he can't be targeted by spells or hero powers okay that's not a good sign um that leaves him at one hit point I don't fully understand well, I guess your guy was gonna die anyway right ooh Okay. Well, let's play this and hope he doesn't have that stupid reduce the health card. Yeah. Nobody plays that thing. How bad can your role be that you would take the, like, when a minion comes into play, you reduce his health to one? It's bad. Again, you can make arguments in favor of the hunter version. It just does four damage when a minion comes into play. That has some value. Parted. It should be nice to have a way to do one damage to this guy. That didn't require my whole flame strike. He's put out a lot of non flame strikeable assets. He's got secrets, he's got true silver champion, this guy's probably gonna come back from the dead or something. Did I already play my bluegill? This would be a good time for bluegill. You just... What? That strikes me as an odd play. But okay. I'm thinking it is Frostwolf time. The Frostwolf stand ready. I'm wondering if I should Frostbolt him, honestly. Prevent him from attacking as he sees fit. Although if he's suiciding against this guy, is it really that bad? I don't know. He's gonna be able to kill him anyway. He shouldn't be able to kill them both, I don't think. Mm. I, I think it. I think it would be excessive. I should say that possible. There's gonna be somewhere down the line where I'm gonna really wish I had it. Or if he plays a whole bunch of guys, I can just flame strike. But this guy's definitely getting traded for him. I'm assuming. Ah, the Hammer of Wrath. Doesn't cost him a card. Although I hope it occurs. We. Oui. Now what? What is your secret? Oh, that's a six point attack. Well, now we wish I froze him. It's a fairly unlikely thing to have come up, but still. I say I'm getting a little annoyed by his refusal to do stuff my way. I guess I'm just going to play this guy, which sucks, because I'm not getting the combo off him at all. But I need to stop this from killing me, with, and I don't want to flame strike it, because I'm going to need that for something. I would have thought. Also, if I flame strike it, it would have taken my entire turn, and I'd have nothing out, so what would I really gain? But it's getting obnoxious. Mm. Yeah. Through the miracle of hindsight, though, I totally should have frozen him. I, I'm sure my board position would be better. Hmm. He wants to kill you. He doesn't want to lose his guy, who is totally winning him the game at this stage. Oh, he's going to concentrate. Okay. That sucks, but... That's not a concentrate. Interesting. Speak to me. 
I'm thinking of flipping him and kill him. Oh, he's going to get the cards from that, which sucks. I wish I could silence all his junk, but I can't, so uh, I can't quite do this and flame strike, which would have been awesome. But we'll see how, we'll see what happens. I am going to yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to flip this what guy. To do. What to do? Card for me, card for him. Interesting. Okay, then I'm going to play the Hungry Dragon because that should wipe out whatever comes out of the Hungry Dragon. Might as well trade this guy because he's not going to survive it. Lethal. Ten, I have 10, 13, 14 damage. Not lethal, sadly. I mean, I could Arcane Intellect and try and draw into lethal, but I think I'm better off just controlling the board. Still, your move. He has a number of cards. He also has a number of hit points, which is small. Never mind. Reporting for duty. That's his whole turn now. Which means I win. Just winning. Yes, okay. Got up to five wins. Finally some kind of a decent performance after an incredibly horrible start. But we're going to see if we can push even further next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.